Hello, I'm Linda Ann Smith, color art video creator, and today I'm playing with gum arabic and primary elements from color art. I have a small canvas here, and this is a Heidi Schwab stencil that I found it Tuesday morning. I love these whimsical hearts, the layout, the way they're scattered across the page, and I'm just going to play. By playing, I mean I don't really have anything in mind. I'm just going to start and see what happens. I'm pretty familiar with the primary elements, but I have never used gum arabic before, so we're going to play with that one today. I began first by sponging on through a stencil with some gum arabic, and I wasn't really getting it wet enough, and I just didn't like that. It just wasn't working for me, so I cleaned off the stencil, opened up the gum arabic, and spread it all over the canvas. Yep, that's right. I didn't have a clue what I was doing. Okay, so now I have gum arabic all over my canvas, and what am I going to do now? So I decided to place the stencil in place, and you know what? That gum arabic held it down. Hooray! <laughs> Who would have thought? Anyway, I'm going to take some primary elements, and I'm going to just try to tap them, but it wasn't tapping very well for me. At least it wasn't spreading. So it maybe the gum arabic wasn't enough, I wasn't sure, but it wasn't spreading like I wanted it to. I wanted it to like burst into color. So I tried another primary element and it didn't exactly burst into color either. So, okay. Yes, I have an art degree. Yes, I taught art for many years. No, I don't have a clue what I'm doing with gum arabic. But it's kind of fun, and I keep playing with it. And you know by now, I'm not about to uh, read the directions and stunt my creative mode, ha ha. So, I just stumble through this and play with it, and twirl my brush in it, and try to figure out what I've done right. Maybe I've done something right. So I'm dabbing with my tissue, and that does spread the color. But I'm going to have to use this tissue in a future art project, because I got more color on my tissue than I did on my canvas. Do you ever have these days? Do you ever get yourself in trouble in a corner before you read the directions? Well, I hadn't read the directions yet, but I did manage to fix the problems. At least it hasn't exploded yet. I was doing this at night, and although the lighting was pretty accurate and good, I couldn't see any shimmer here, so I decided to add some color with my brush. I had left that alone to dry until morning. I might have seen the shimmer, but last night, no, I didn't see it. So here I go, more and more. I want to build up the layers, one layer after another. Uh, sometimes I dip into the gum arabic and re-wet it, and the shimmer begins, so I'm liking it much better. Um, but it's just not that deep, rich color that I usually get from color art. So I'm going, okay, you know, i got to deal with this. So I lift the stencil, here it is, and see those little leaky areas? I liked them. I liked them very much. But haven't I warned you before not to fall in love with your first layer? Yep, you can predict what's going to happen. So I kept adding pigment and water and gum arabic. It wasn't 10 minutes after I called my friend to tell her how much I loved these little leaks that went under the stencil that I completely destroyed them. But that rich color art shimmer that you can't get with any other paint is beginning to come through and I'm liking what I see in other places too, so I'll keep working. So here comes some of my radiant gels, and this Love You Pink is really a pretty color. And I don't have any idea how these are going to react with each other. I guess you can tell that I used to love science class. So Vavum Red is really pretty too, but it's more of a violet color in my eyes than a red. And I have Periwinkle African Jade, and then the Blue Pearls. It's the Blue Pearls that got me in trouble, and it's a beautiful color. Actually, it just kind of adds... A shimmer to everything and that's what I was going to go for but you'll see my mistake so I replace the stencil back over lining up the stencil over my hearts I like this little white edge area but I can't fall in love with it because it may disappear I'm gonna try to keep it but if it disappears I'm not gonna be heartbroken all puns intended so to get that wonderful color art uh, shimmer that I'm going to dab this on with a sponge, with a makeup sponge. And I've been throwing these away when they got kind of used, but I saw the neatest tip and I, I wish I could remember so I could give credit to whoever did it, but maybe some of you already know anyway. Uh, 
You, you cut off the end of the sponge when it gets dirty and keep using it. Boy, I wonder how many I've thrown away. And now with this baboon red, which I really think is pretty, uh, I go in and kind of outline and touch up and play with that with a brush. I add water and gum arabic and primary elements and radiant gels and mix these all up together and I'm really having a good time even though I don't know what I'm doing with I don't know what to expect from these this mixture. The important part to me in art in all seriousness is the journey. It's the enjoyment, the the self-satisfaction that I feel in creating something. It's not necessarily the end product. We all want to come up with something beautiful that everyone loves, but it's not the end product that really matters when I'm creating. It's that journey in art. It's following what the canvas and the paints tell you to do as you go. And if you haven't experienced this, you haven't played with your art supplies enough. I am a huge advocate of allowing yourself mistakes, of allowing yourself to, to explore and play and have fun and enjoy. Sometimes we'll be on a deadline and we're working and, you know, maybe with that pressure causes some drudgery in what you're doing. And uh, when that happens to me, it hasn't happened a whole lot, but it has happened. When that happens to me, I try to force myself to just walk away. No matter what the deadline time is, walk away from it. Because when my art becomes work, it shows in the final product. And I'm never happy with it. And I think when you view your own product at the end, you're revisiting that journey that you took. So here we are. I'm really enjoying that little white that's popping out and those little uh, leaks under the stencils were still there until I applied the blue pearl. And I did it right on top of everything, thinking that it would go over and be permanent in some way. Why I decided that, I don't know, because I knew I knew I didn't know what how this would react with each other. But instead of going around it like I am here to try to clean it up now, I just went over the whole thing. I had convinced myself somewhere back in my right brain that going over this whole thing, the, the colors were just gonna stay and I was just gonna add some sparkle with that blue pearl. But it didn't happen that way. So this is not, quote, necessarily a mistake. It's an opportunity. It's an opportunity to try something else. You know, they say opportunity knocks but once, but this kind of opportunity seems to knock at my door quite often. And uh, I enjoy it. I enjoy the opportunity to solve a problem. I don't want to solve problems all the way through everything I do. I want some of it to turn out well as I go. But in spite of any problem that came up, I was thoroughly enjoying playing with this canvas. It's looking a lot better now, and I really like the shimmer that I'm getting. I hope you can see that in the video. So I'm going to place the stencil back over the hearts, but I'm going to offset them just a little bit because I did like that white space. I'm going to see if I can sort of recreate it. And uh, so I'll trace with a permanent marker. And if I don't like it when I lift the stencil, I'll just use that uh, line to help me do some outlining. I do know that I'm going to want to go back and get these little bubbly shapes around the hearts. Um, there's a lot of pool playing conversations going on in my household all the time. And I started looking at these thinking they look like little pool balls with, on the, a billiards table with little hearts all over them. So I don't care if they're bubbles or circles or what, I do want to bring those out. So I'm using that stencil to help me trace those and recapture a nice crisp outline. While I finish outlining this, I'd like to say Happy Valentine's Day to all my friends, my artist community, uh, my relatives, and my subscribers. Thank you very much for being there and for giving me moral support. I made sure that I wrapped this all the way around the edges and the uh, outlining and the paint both. I actually missed a few spaces that I caught later and had to go back and uh, 
outline a few things, but that's kind of typical. A lot of times I'll miss a place here or there and have to fix it. So it's about right here in my work that I really know what direction I'm going in. I'm about to finish it up and I'm putting little circles as a texture outside. It reminds me a little bit of sudsy water now. You know, we went from pool balls to sudsy water. But I'm going to put some uh, swirls and uh, bubbly shapes out into this really shimmery blue area. Now let me tell you something that I find rather humorous. I called Leslie at Color Art and was telling her about, oh, I was using these primary elements and I was using gum arabic. And before I even got to this, she told me, oh, I've got this stencil and I'm using it with our new product, The Solution, which looks like a really fun product to work with. Anyway, I'm gonna link her video where she knew what she was doing before she started because she knows her product. And uh, I'll link that down in the description so you can see it. You are able to use gum arabic with this product with primary elements, but I think I used it a little bit differently than most people should. It might be fun instead of trying to drop primary elements onto gum arabic and then deal with it with water and gesso and all of that. It might be fun to use it in the traditional way and mix it with the primary elements, the gum arabic and primary elements together before I started putting it on the canvas. I'm going to use some Adeco Arts Spray-On Triple Thick on this. I'm going to use the spray-on because it is less likely to disturb the composition. And I think that'll give it a nice finish, but I'm going to let it dry a couple of days before I begin that. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I hope you'll do so. Just hit that little subscribe button. Have a wonderful Valentine's Day.